Hi, welcome back to the ShareSite channel. We are excited to announce the new layout for our holding page. In this video, I will talk about two things about the new holding page. So the first one is the purpose of the redesign and the second one is I'll walk you through on how to navigate the new holding page. Why are we doing this? Why do we redesign the holding page? There are three reasons. The first one is performance, so basically how quickly the page can load. So in our previous holding page, it takes a long time to load if you have hundreds of dividends and, and trades because just I have to calculate the holding returns and load all the bits of data onto a big page. So there were instances where you just want to look at one thing on the page, whether that's the graph or the news, but you have to wait for the entire page to finish multiple calculation. The new layout solved this by dividing different sections of the page into tabs. So what that means is you can look at certain holding information you need without waiting for the entire page to load. The second reason is better navigation. One common thing that we get talking to our customers over the years is how hard it is to find information on the holding page. And for example, how do I delete my holdings? How do I set up my dividend reinvestments? Or where do I find my cost base per share information? One of the changes that we made is we added horizontal tabs onto the page. These tabs organize contents into distinct sections so it's easier to find them. Another reason why we use tab is because it is more space efficient. You can see all your content with little to no scrolling and this is especially useful if you are using share site from your mobile phone. Now we understand that having an extra click just to see your trades and payout is not ideal but it is a necessary change to organize the page. And I would say the good thing now is that you can actually go straight to the tab without having to wait for the other parts of the page to load. The last reason is future development. So over the years, a lot of our customers have given us many valuable feedbacks on how to improve the page. But it is almost impossible to add new features without cluttering the page. So this new layout gives us more space to add more data and new features in the future. Before we go through the new holding page, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And follow us on our social media at ShareSite for more product updates and announcements. Now let's get into it. When you select or search for a holding on the overview page, you will land on the summary tab of the holding page. As the name implies, the summary tab gives you all the high level basic information about the holding. This information is organized into boxes. Each box displays specific holding information to make it easy to scan through and find the relevant information without getting overwhelmed. Here, the summary box shows the total holding return in both percentage and dollar amount and breaks that down to capital gain dividends and currency gain if it's an international holding. Just below the graph, the benchmark feature shows how this holding performs against another holding like an ETF. Moving to the right, the current value box shows the current holding value, which is the current market price times the quantity on hand. For international holding, we show the holding value in both the portfolio currency and the holding currency. The price comparison box compares the current market price to your average purchase price. The horizontal bar charts helps you visualize the price difference. This box also gives you the option to update prices if it is a custom investment. If you click here, this will take you to the pricing page where you can add or edit a price. To get back to the holding page, you just need to select details and select the holding. If you own any fixed income holdings like bonds, there is the income details box that shows the yield, coupon rate, payment frequency, maturity date and fast value. Your investment box shows the current value in both portfolio and holding currency quantity on hand, the total cost base and cost base per share. The fundamental box is useful for investors who use the PE ratio to make investment decisions. This box shows the current price to earning ratio, earnings per share and net tangible assets or the NTA per share. The earnings per share is a trailing 12 month figure. And keep in mind that this box is only available for ASX and NZX holdings. 
Below this is the labels box. You can see which labels are attached to this holding. We have a video about labels and how to use it. I'll put that in the description below. And the last one is the asset classifications box. This shows the holding classification in investment type, country, sector, industry, share registry, and your grouping. I'll drop a link in the description if you want to find out how to use the custom group feature to get better portfolio insights. You also get the options to manage your custom groups. You can change the sector and industry classification by clicking on edit details. And this takes you to the edit holding tab where you can change it under the category classification. The next tab is the trades and income tab. We have maintained a similar layout here where you can see all your historical trades and adjustments at the top and all historical dividends or payout just right below. The main difference here is that we added a descriptive status that tells you if a dividend has been confirmed in place of a lightning bolt symbol we used to use. When a company pays a dividend, ShareSite automatically loads that information on your portfolio and you should confirm the dividend once you have reconciled that against your bank account or brokerage account. You can confirm each dividend or use the bulk confirmation options at the top. We have also added a dividend amount per share column next to the dividend paid date, which is something useful if you are a dividend investor. The next tab is the notes and files. These used to be called the comments section. We received some feedback over the years from our customers that they want to keep their investment journal in ShareSite. There will be more improvement in this area, but for now, we've made the space for comments bigger as our customer have requested. This will make it easier to record things like your investment strategy, significant events, or corporate actions. You can also attach files here, like annual tax statement or documentations in this tab. We have also created a dedicated news tab to make it easier on your eyes, especially when you are using a mobile device. The last tab is the edit holding tab. This tab has three sections, income details, category classification, and holding actions. What is in the income details varies depending on the portfolio tax residency and holding type. For Australian shares, you can select between trust and non-trust income, and there is also the options to set up auto dividend reinvestments. For foreign holdings, you can set a foreign withholding tax percentage. For fixed income holdings like bonds, there is the option to update foreign withholding tax percentage, select between dividend or interest, first payment date, maturity date, payment frequency, and whether you want to automatically calculate income as well as auto reinvest the interest payments. We've gone through the category classification earlier. This is where you can update the industry and sector classification. For the holding action section, this is where you can delete the holding or merge the holding into another holding. We hope you find this video helpful and excited about the new holding page. Keep in mind, this is just the beginning. We will start adding more new features that our customer has been asking for over the next few months. So keep an eye on this space. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.